Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Project. In this module, I want to show you how you can link and automatically update tasks from Excel into projects. So you can then update your project plan from the Excel update. So what I've got on the screen is just simple project, two tasks, task A and task B. Now if I double click on task A for this first example, task information comes up and if you go into the notes tab so it normally comes up on the general tab but on the notes tab I normally tell people to give it a title so I'll just type specification here so specification so let's say the scenario is you've already got method statements where you're doing work and you want to update using that method statement you want to update this project task so what I'm going to do is use this little icon here insert object so this will allow me to browse for a file which I've got in documents called project status. So I'll just browse for that project status. I'm going to double click on that. Now the key to this, so it updates, so you see the updates, is if I tick that, that will link it. So this is now a link, like a shortcut to it. And then I will display it as an icon, like so. So it's going to sit like that in this box. If I click OK, there it is. Now, if I open that, if I just double click on that, that opens up the file itself. And then if I come back into um, project, just cancel, uh, click OK to that. And then you'll see the little icon in the indicator column. If you hover over it, the title that you typed specification is there. Otherwise, it would just be that apostrophe. Now, if I go and open up the Excel file, um, project status and change something on it so at the moment I've got that um, let me just put that over here and delete these two so I've changed that if I close this um, down come out of this control W yes I will save it go back into the task A double click and bring task information back into view open it up and then if I bring this into view, you can see that that has now picked that up. So these three tasks are at 75%, that one is still at 50%. So if I close that down for a minute and then click OK to that, and what I can do now is I can just go on um, task A, say if that task A is 75%, I can just click the 75% indicator and I can do that for task B, whatever that's meant to be. Um, say 50% from that list or it could be just processes within that task that you want to update or it could be a complete set of task lists re replicated here and then that's just a summary sheet in Excel that you want to use to update these tasks but all you have to do is double click onto the task have a look at the um, task information go into the actual the link just double click on that and then when it opens you'll be able to update and see the information. Like that, just put it in there. And you can change this like I did before and it will always be a live link. So I've got this as task one, two, three, four. This might be, there's 10 items to complete in that task A. So I'm just going through it like that. I might want to have 10 tasks in project and each task is going to be represented by this spreadsheet so people can be working in a spreadsheet like this just fill it in where they're at with it and you can just open it and update your tasks now if i close this down a minute what i would do if that was a situation save that okay i might embed that on the top task like that so just double click on the title and then bring that in there and do that insert object on the summary title so then you get in that spreadsheet that I saw you saw there on task A coming up on this. And then it's just telling you where these tasks are if you had different tasks all the way down. I've got it as one, two, three, but task A, B, C, D, same sort of thing would uh, make sense. It's just a cool way to have people updating project status in Excel. So they haven't got project licenses, but then you, you have project and you want to utilize projects, uh, different views. You can get the best of both worlds by doing this. So that's all I want to talk about in this little video. So hopefully it's of use. Thank you for your time and I'll catch you in the next one.